So with surgery, the biggest thing we want to make sure we don't do is, is go into the eye inadvertently, so we don't want to puncture the eye. Onto the sclera, which is the white part of the eye, and that is a lot more vascular, and that's why we're seeing more, more bleeding. With blood flooding the eye, the risk of perforating the eyeball is now greatly increased. The next few minutes will be crucial. Here we go. Denise from the animal rescue group Paws is bringing Denzel into the Bondi Referral Hospital sash for an urgent examination. Denzel's a little Shih Tzu who's come from the pound and he has got something going on with his eye. It appears to have hair coming out the middle of his cornea and we really need to see exactly what's going on. Denise is hoping emergency vet Dr Lisa Chimes can find a solution so that little Denzel can be adopted into a new home. We just want to get him right and get him into a new family so that he can start to enjoy his life. Oh, Lisa, he's got something wrong with his eye. Oh, no. It looks a bit strange. Looks like it's got something growing out of it. What do you think? do too, sweetheart. I'm looking at Denzel's eye and this poor little dog has got a piece of skin growing long hairs out of the surface of his eye. Now that part of the eye should be completely clear. So when I look at the eye, it's pretty obvious what he's got. It's, he's got something called a dermoid cyst uh, and it's a developmental abnormality. Okay, so the yes. skin has actually started growing on the eye and that's happened from when he was an embryo. Without treatment, the dermoid cyst could cause Denzel to go blind. All right, so this is Mark. He's Hi. one of Hi, our Mark. ophthalmologists. How are you? Very well, and yourself? Good, thank you. Lisa is hoping ophthalmologist Dr. Mark Bilson can confirm just how severe the pup's problem is. All right, let's have a look. I'm looking at Denzel's eye and I can see that unfortunately the dermoid cyst is right on the cornea. There's already changes and some of those changes are going to be permanent. Unfortunately, we're starting to get pigmentation of the cornea. If that keeps going on, it's going to blind the eye. So what do we do? So um, I'd recommend surgery. Okay. The good news is if we get in now and we take the lesion off now and remove the hairs and the source of irritation, then we can stop further damage. So we can maintain what vision he's got and we may be able to also uh, allow some healing and repair and improve the appearance. You'll be right. And then you'll get a lovely new home. If you're happy to go ahead, we'll take him through and we'll go ahead with surgery. Denzel's already been through a lot in his life and this is just another thing that he has to go through. But we hope that the result will be good and then Denzel can go on and have a great life. The next day at SASH, homeless dog Denzel is about to undergo surgery to remove a dermoid cyst which is damaging his eye. Ophthalmologist Dr Mark Bilson has the tricky job of cutting the mass out and saving Denzel's eyesight. The aim of today is to remove this abnormal lesion and make Denzel a happier boy give him a better prospects for the future in comfort and vision and help Denise find him a, a good home. All right. So with surgery, the, the key things we're going to be thinking about is, is how thick that cornea is. It's only one millimetre thick and hence we're going to be working under the microscope. Uh, and the biggest thing we want to make sure we don't do is, is go into the eye inadvertently so we don't want to puncture the eye. It's an incredibly delicate task. Mark must now slowly dissect the cyst, gently removing it from the cornea. Onto the sclera, which is the white part of the eye, and that is a lot more vascular, and that's why we're seeing more, more bleeding. With blood flooding the eye, the risk of perforating the eyeball is now greatly increased. The next few minutes will 
be crucial. So we've pretty much got the dermoid clear now. Just a couple more little snips, there's some And there it is. There's our dermoid uh, removed. Mark must now place a contact lens over the eye and stitch the wound closed. Finally, with the last stitch in, the delicate surgery is finished. All right. And when Denzel wakes up, he, he will certainly feel a little bit of pain from the surgery, but hopefully his view of the, of the world's already a little bit improved. Very happy at this point. We'll see how he's going tomorrow. The next morning at SASH, Lisa and ophthalmologist Dr. Mark Bilson are checking up on Denzel. Hey, Denzel. So I really like how he's got that eye nice and open. Uh, I've made the lid a little bit smaller, mm -hmm. so just to give it some protection and help keep the contact lens in place. And it's comfy. There's. It's looking good, it's looking good. So he's ready to be picked up by Denise? Be, yep, I'm ready to get him home. And I think ready for a new owner, huh? I hope someone's waiting. Mark is really happy with his progress. He managed to cut that dermoid cyst off his eye and everything's looking really good now. In reception, the pup's guardian angel Denise is waiting to be reunited with the tiny stray. Hello, yes. how are you? Hello, yeah. oh, it's Denzel. Daddy. Hello. Let, oh mm. my goodness, look at that eye. You handsome now or what? Denzel looks absolutely fantastic. He's happy, I'm happy, so, you know, it's all good. So how's the search been going for new owner? Any luck? Well, as a matter of fact, Denzel has a new home. Really? Yes. Sister. Denzel, that is amazing. Denzel Did is. Did you hear that? Very excited. You're going to a new home, buddy. Yes. All right, Denise. So that's it. Thank you again. So lovely to see you again. Lovely to see you too. Love the work that you do. Good Thanks. luck. Thanks, Denise. Let's go, Denzel. Time to go home. Who lives here? Hello. Hello. Hi, Denzel. Hi, Denise. Oh, your new home, little Denzel. Oh. The oh, rescue beautiful. pup has found a new home. I feel particularly happy for Denzel today. He's had his surgery. You know, he's a healthy dog. He came to us in pretty bad condition, as a lot of our dogs do, but we've been able to fix him all up and the piece de resistance is that he has this wonderful home to go to. Good boy. It's nice to, to be able to, to give a, a dog that probably didn't have a lot of hope um, a new home and, and um, he'll be loved. You're going to love living here, Denzel. It's a great home and you've got Anne all to yourself. <laughs> she will spoil you very yes, much, I won't so. she? We'll be able to take him for walks and um, we can go to the beach and um, you can sit and watch TV with me and um, it'd be nice to have a little bit of company. Yeah, really looking forward to it. Oh, you're good. <laughs> Gorgeous boy. Hi, I'm Dr. Danny. If you enjoyed this video, then please remember to subscribe to the Bondi Vet YouTube channel. Click on the screen now to continue watching more great content.